one fret. Four, five, six, one, two, and three. Four, five, and six, one. Got for the first part? Yeah, you can conduct the whole first part in six. Forgive me for being at the first part and letting you do it three times wrong. It's not wrong, it's just that I, I really want you to have the experience of conducting this stuff in six and then using the hyper step to start the second part. Okay. Okay. And we're doing the second part in two, or is that still in six? Yes, yes. And okay. that's where you should do the hyper step. Okay. okay. The beginning part is 52, that's pretty slow. changes 
that you see that weight change, the direction change. Because if I'm conducting here, the beat that sticks out is when I change directions. If I'm going, the beat that really sticks out is when I change to the other side of the body. See what I mean? One, two, three, four, five, six. Or like in five, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. It's different when I go one, two, three, four, change from one side of the body is a, is a big move and it, it, it should go along with the fact that the music changes there. All right. Can we go again, please? Now you 
that maybe it's going to hit tap, hit tap, right? And your breath is going to be a half a beat. <coughs> and one, and two, and three, and right?
Yeah, so for this, it's, um, is this the, the hybrid? So now this, no, this is just six. This is the one where we elongate each six, and then we can definitely the six back. So you're going to do like five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. one, two, three, six. Okay. Five is a little bit elongated, and then put some trampled bolts. Sound like this. I would start with this five and then put it out. Okay. Five, six, one, okay. and keep it out till about beats three. Okay. Let it soar. 